Hello everyone, Nathan here from PH Studios and welcome back to another tutorial series covering artificial intelligence. Now for this series I will be using C Sharp and XNA but you can pretty much take what you learn here and use whatever you want to. So I will also be releasing pseudocodes for every single tutorial that way you can convert it from pseudocode to your language instead of from C sharp to your language. So that will help out a lot. That being said, I will not label this as an XNA series due to that single fact that you can use what you learn here for other languages or game frameworks and it will release pseudocode so it doesn't really have to be an XNA tutorial. I'm just using that for that's what I use, so just for demonstration purposes on how to use this algorithm. So anyway, this is an artificial intelligence for gaming series, not a artificial intelligence in general. It is for gaming, which is why it's a programming artificial intelligence, or I'll label it gaming artificial intelligence. Now, this is the first video of the series, and for all series, the, fir the very first video, I don't label it as a tutorial. Uh, lately, I haven't been labeling it as a tutorial. I've just been walking through the what I'm going to discuss, the topics, uh, the layout of the tutorial. Uh, sometimes, walk you through the program that I use, like if I'm doing a series on Photoshop or... After Effects, I will walk you through the program itself before the actual tutorial. But since you've seen Visual Studio before in my previous videos, I will not walk you through the Visual Studio interface. You have seen it many times before. So this video is just going to discuss the layout of the series, a few topics I will discuss. You're always welcome to comment and list off some topics that you would like me to discuss. So what I will discuss, there's a few things on my list. I would like to discuss uh, movement, such as seeking, fleeing, wandering, obstacle avoidance, and hiding. A grouping functions such as flock or and or formation, which will be similar to flocking. Uh, fuzzy logic, which will be a very complex uh, thing to discuss, so that's probably going to wait until the very end. Priority-based artificial intelligence and formula-based priority artificial intelligence. So those are the main topics. For this series, i like to discuss more if you come up with any ideas. And I already discussed one, and actually two, if you think about it. Pathfinding is labeled as an artificial intelligence algorithm, so my A-star tutorial uh, is actually considered an artificial intelligence algorithm. And also, the space shirt tutorial. That has artificial intelligence in it. So when we talk about artificial intelligence for games, and this will be more evident when I, uh, this will be more obvious when I discuss this. Artificial intelligence for games is 90% of the time when we discuss artificial intelligence for games, we're talking about a automatic or autonomous entity. And what that means is if I drop a zombie or I drop a spaceship or something into the game world it will look at the world and do its task automatically without you moving it with your mouse or telling it a command to do it will automatically do its thing so for the spacer series this is a very, very, very basic artificial intelligence, but it is artificial intelligence in that it I plop a new enemy in the game world, it perceives the world, it finds the player, and it does its thing. It, moved, it moves towards the player, 
and it shoots at me, and it tries to kill me. That's its job. So it's very basic artificial intelligence, but it is AI, and that is actually seeking. That's using the seeking movement, but I will discuss that in more great detail in this series. Because it's seeking, it found me, and uh, its job is to kill me. So, you've seen artificial intelligence in my tutorials in the past, but I will discuss these in actual great detail each video. And I'll uh, release source code, pseudocode, the video, and we'll go from there. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this series. I've been taking a lot of notes and coming up with ideas that I could use. I'm probably going to use some of my tower defense graphics for this series. And I'll also use my space shooter graphics for this series. I might also develop a zombie. And we can create a cool little zombie game. So that's it for this video. Uh, just discussing what the concepts are. 90% of the time, what we will be discussing is autonomous entities. And, uh... We'll create really small games in this series, just to take a few of the concepts and throw it together and create a small game. Uh, I will not create a game, like a complete game series... It will be a finished game, and then I'll release a tutorial on it. Uh, the Complete Games series, for those of you that do not know, is covering a game from complete scratch to the final result. Now, for these random tutorials, I like to do... The coding is completely finished, and I like to walk you through the coding. That way I can discuss the lines in great detail and the concepts in great detail... Instead of me typing and uh, you've all seen me type and then make mistakes and then get frustrated. But that's what I like to do for the random tutorials. I'll probably do that for most of the tutorials in this series as well. Uh, for the networking series, I haven't been doing that as much. I've been taking the complete games approach with the networking series. But anyway, this series has been taking a... Uh, a lot of weeks to get my notes all written up and come up with my ideas. So I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, the first video is always boring because I don't do any coding or tutorials. But I hope you got a good idea of what the series is. And if I did not mention a cool artificial intelligence concept, please comment and let me know and I'll try to see what I can do but I'd like to keep it with at least that list for the videos so far I might do additional topics after that list but anyway that's it for this video I hope you enjoy the series uh, this is the very first video so I release it during the week that way I have the weekend free to actually do a tutorial video for you guys uh, wasn't that nice of me? <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series, and I'll see you next time for the tutorial.